sorry. Barbara Campbell's vision began to dim when she was just 13. The first hint, it came at school. Teacher called my parents in and said she's just not seeing stuff on, on the page, so. Years later, it got much worse. There was like an open manhole, which I was about to go into, so it was really very scary. And that was a huge wake-up call. Then one day, Campbell's vision was gone. Everything kind of looks like a gray, foggy haze. Cells on Campbell's retina that detect light had deteriorated. Until five months ago, when she began seeing glints of light, using what some are calling a bionic eye. This is an artificial device that essentially stimulates the retina electronically. First, an operation to implant a tiny computer chip directly into the eye. And here's where Campbell's story starts to sound like science fiction. Take a look at this animation over here. You have a specially outfitted pair of sunglasses here looking at a standard eye chart. That letter E is registered by the camera. That's the first step. After that, the camera sends a signal wirelessly to the back of Campbell's retina, to the back of her eye. Again, transmitting the information of that letter E. Here's where it gets even more interesting. That E then subsequently goes from the back of Campbell's eye all the way to the back of the brain, to a part of the brain that is actually responsible for sight. So you have a camera, a microchip, in all of Campbell's, Campbell's brain allowing her to see once again. Now I, I can see that the lights are on. But for patients that have really had no vision for just years and years, these are really major, major milestones for them. We can now take someone who's totally blind and turn them into someone with very, very poor vision. That's really the first time in history that we've been able to do that. Correct. Um. Doctors caution that retraining Campbell's eye and brain to see could take years. Her vision is in black and white. It's never going to be perfect. Still, Campbell has dreams. I'm not sure it's going to happen is seeing colors. That's what I was, my, my number one thing. If I could see colors again, my plan was to go to the Grand Canyon. Dr. Sanjay Gupta, CNN, reporting.